Back at CES, Samsung showed off the Chromebook Pro, a solidly built, well-designed convertible laptop with an excellent screen. But it's far from the only premium Chromebook on the market at this point, so the question is whether this computer is worth the relatively high $550 that Samsung is asking for it. The Chromebook Pro is surprisingly striking considering its price, which is high for a Chromebook but still pretty cheap for a laptop. Its distinctive metallic jet black finish is unlike most other computers, and I'm a big fan. When you pop the laptop open, you're met with more black, outside of a few annoying stickers, of course. It's a great look, and fortunately it managed to feel both lightweight and sturdy. The Chromebook Pro's internals are pretty standard. You get an Intel Core M3 processor, 4GB of RAM, and 32GB of storage, typical for a Chromebook these days. The display, however, is a standout. The 12.3-inch screen features a 2400 by 1600 resolution, which means text and images look wonderfully sharp. Colors and brightness are excellent as well. All told, it's about the best screen I've seen on a Chromebook since the Pixel. Like the Pixel, the Chromebook Pro has a 3 by 2 aspect ratio, which makes the display taller than most other laptops. That's something I really enjoy and wish more laptop makers would offer. It's also a touchscreen which makes it work well with Android apps and comes complete with Samsung's S Pen stylus. The Pen, which is identical to the stylus you'll find in the Galaxy Note smartphone series, has a few custom features you won't find on other Chromebooks. You can jump right into Google Keep to take notes or quickly take a screenshot and annotate it. Being able to mark up a screenshot has proven to be pretty handy, but I'm not happy with the latency when using the Pen. It feels far laggier than the iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil or the Microsoft Surface and its Pen. That's despite the fact that Google touted machine learning assistance in its Keep app that would reduce lag. The company has been quiet about this feature since first announcing it back at CES, and it didn't do much to help things when I was using the computer. I rarely felt like taking handwritten notes with this device. If you're a visual artist, which I most definitively am not, you might have fun using the S Pen in conjunction with some Android sketching apps, but the latency might make that a frustrating user experience as well. Fortunately, the Chromebook Pro works well as a traditional laptop. The keyboard and trackpad are both solid, although I wish they were just a little bit bigger. It's still comfortable to use for extended periods of time, but it just takes a few minutes of adjustment. Even after I adjusted though, I still found myself wishing the keyboard was just a little bit wider. That might fix the tiny backspace key, for example. The hardware kept up well with my normal workflow, which consists of several Chrome windows full of tabs, a bunch of Chrome apps like Keep, Todoist, Hangouts, Slack, and Google Play Music, and a few Android apps here and there. Performance wasn't quite as good when I was multitasking between Android and Chrome apps. Everything worked, but there were more noticeable slowdowns when switching between apps. That didn't happen too often, because I mostly used Android apps for things like watching Netflix videos, editing photos in Adobe's Lightroom, and playing some games, tasks that generally demand your full attention. That's also when the Chromebook Pro's 360-degree hinge came in handy. The 3x2 aspect ratio makes the Pro work better as a tablet than the Asus Chromebook Flip, which is both wider and heavier. I don't often find much use for convertible laptops, but the Pro pulls that trick off better than any other Chromebook on the market. The Pro's only major flaw is battery life. While it managed about 7 hours in our HD video playback test, I only got a little more than 4 hours when putting the computer through my normal routine. That's a major disappointment and a big strike against this device. The Chromebook Pro has one clear competitor, the aforementioned Asus Chromebook Flip. Both run Android apps, have nearly identical hardware, and 360-degree hinges. The $550 Pro is $70 more expensive than the Flip. That money gets you the S Pen, a better display, and a lighter body. But the Flip has a better keyboard, double the internal storage, and superior battery life. At this point, I think the battery life gives the Flip the advantage, despite all that I do like about the Chromebook Pro. I really wanted the Chromebook Pro to be the Chromebook I've been looking for. But despite solid performance and lovely hardware, poor battery life outweighs the many things it does well. If you know you won't need to be away from a power cord for very long, the Chromebook Pro is otherwise a solid device. But for a device built for mobility, bad battery life drags it down.